Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to create a nested if-else statement in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on two logical conditions based on numeric values. So in the first if-else statement I'm setting the test condition to be equal to 5 larger than 3. So if this condition is true then the if else statement jumps to our yes condition and then to our yes condition I'm specifying another if else statement as you can see here in lines 4 to 6 of the code and within the second if else statement I then can specify another logical condition so in this case I'm specifying 5 larger than 4 which is also true and then I'm specifying another yes and no condition within the second if else statement as well. So if you run lines 2 to 8 of the code, you can see that some output is created at the bottom in the RStudio console and this time the output is true twice. And this is because our first condition is true. For that reason, the first if else statement jumps to the yes condition of our first if else statement and then the second if else statement is also true and for that reason it is jumping to the yes condition of the second if else statement. Now if we would change the condition of the first if else statement, let's say we want to know whether the value 5 is smaller than 3, which is false obviously, then our if else statement would jump to the no condition and it would skip this nested if else condition in between. So if you run lines 2 to 8 of our updated if else statement, then you would see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the character string no is returned. So in this video, I have explained how to create a nested if else condition in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently created a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. If you have liked the video I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video, thanks a lot, see you next time, bye bye.